Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode three of the HeroCraft PC RPG. Let's try Insomnia the Ark. Let's get it in, guys. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to check out some more of this pretty gritty RPG. Sort of gothic-esque. Um... Wait, did I hit new game? I did not mean to. Alt F4. Let's try that again. <laughs> My bad, guys. Insomnia the Ark. Or the Ark. Last episode, we finished our mission, and now we have to get the heck out of there through an air shaft, which I think we're doing in this episode. And once again, Object 6 is a multi-level space metropolis equipped with autonomous life support systems capable of carrying up to 10 million people. That's how big this place is. It's enormous. Oh, we're back at home. After, um... A successful mission. So I want to visit a merchant. But let's also... Head into our house here. Oh. Oh. Homie oh, just jumped out at us. Dang. I'm getting beat the heck up. Look at this guy. Man in a coat. The nerve endings along the entire left side of your body scream as you are overloaded with pain. Sorry, I haven't cleaned up in a while. Can I offer you a drink? Don't bother. I believe you prefer to drink alone. Right. It can be hard to explain to guests that it's time for them to leave. If the conversation goes in the right direction, guests leave at a reasonable time. Are you the guy I've been drinking with at the rainbow when I forget to, forgot to pick up the tab? Take it easy. It's not that big of a deal. Next time, we'll be sure to laugh at your joke, but for now, let's discuss the deal. I'm sure you'll find the conditions pretty interesting. I see that you've prepared your speech beforehand. I don't have the option of saying no, do I? No, that's not something you can do. The deal is simple. You get me in touch with Broker, and I leave your head unharmed. So how come the committee's interested in me all of a sudden? Not in you, in Broker. You're worthless. You are simply the most convenient means. What makes you think I'll be eager to help you help you out? Viper, keep in mind that while you are the most convenient, you're far from the only instrument in the solution to my problem. I have no idea how to get in touch with Broker. I couldn't hear that. The music was too loud. The eyes are not here. There are no eyes here in this valley of dying stars, in this hollow valley, this broken jaw of our lost kingdoms, trembling with tenderness, lips that would kiss from prayers to broken stone. Form prayers to broken stone. This project has been funded with the help of Kickstarter. The Mono Studio team is grateful to all the backers for your interest in our game. Mono Studio. Herocraft. Okay, so now the wind blows from afar. The wind brings a multitude of flavors. The bitterness of wilting grass. The freshness of waves on the sea in the glimmering dawn. The day has come, and the wind has changed. Only the ashes of endless fires float through the air now. There's no more wind to disturb the silence of the rusting tunnels. Huh. The cosmic metropolis built before the war has become humanity's only chance to survive. Ravaged by bombing and abandoned by everyone, 
it barely managed to escape a planet dying in the flames of war. Huh. Now they wander beyond the bounds of time. Their last hope is a faraway planet where they can start the history of mankind anew. Cool. But the Iron City has lived its own life for centuries now. And it shows no intention of bending to the will of humans. Memories of the era of great storms have been lingering in the rust for far too long. The wind shall blow once more. Neat. The sleep that has lasted for so many years is about to end. Okay, so we just did the prologue, I take it. Now the game actually starts. Interesting. Alright, here we are. In Shadow Dreamland. around the perimeter. Okay, there's someone over there. Can we go in the middle? Yeah, but there's nothing here. Alright, let's go see homie. Oh, a dog. And a record player. Go see bright eyed homie here. Don't go. People digging. Pathway behind me blocked. Firing line. I didn't see what that one was. like TV clicks on Big Sleep is the layman's name for the Delta Stasis procedure in which a person is put into a multi-year hibernation with a significantly slowed metabolism. Lim, the enormous vault of Delta modules, keeps three-fourths of the population of Herb in the state of Big Sleep. Rector Irate ASG Archive. I guess our main character is waking up now. Ah. Huh. Here's Redden. Hello, K KZ0012. How are you feeling? It's only been a minute, but you're already up and about. Must be because you're a soldier. Looks like congratulations are in order for your successful wake awakening. Redding quickly scans the indicators of the monitors on the monitors. I must say you've lucked out quite a bit. Considering the state you were in after the accident, you're looking rather fresh. Accident? What are you talking about? You've managed to survive a blast in limb, KZ-0012. 
Several hundred dead, many more injured. You're going to find out more about the incident a bit later. Office number 46 to see the head of the security service. Patient Dollar, please go to office number 46 to see the head of the security service. Where am I? In the adaptation chamber, to answer the question you're probably about to ask, you've been here for 14 days. Have I been unconscious the entire time? Yes, apart from the time you were having a lively conversation with no one in particular in the intensive care ward, you hardly remember anything. Your condition was very serious. How may I address you? My name is Dr. Redden. I work in the Delta Procedures Block. Senior officer, if you will. How long do I have to stay here? According to your readings, you'll bounce back soon enough. This is a somewhat atypical situation for such a rough awakening. You've been very lucky. If things were different, I'd recommend you stay in this chamber for another week. But as it is at the moment, the state needs each and every one of us. Suppose I can tell Dr. Rock or Dr. Roke that you're ready for Strock scan. Well, I see no point in dragging it out. Great. Redden swiftly runs his fingers over the communicator. Dr. Rock is, Roke is expecting you. When you leave the chamber, make a right and go all the way to the end. Awakening. Patience card. Take it, I guess. New achievement. Spontaneous awakening. Recover after the big sleep. Ah, now battle skills are here. Light weapon, rifles, shotguns, automatic weapons, one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons. Nice. Awesome. And then character has a bunch of different stuff. We'll get into this more later. Um, very cool. Backpack, patient's card, a folder with the results of patient's KZ, patient KZ0012's initial examination. We've got patient's pullover. Clothing for patients in the adaptation chamber, a comfortable pullover with good thermal regulation. It's made from natural cryoma fabric and polyester. Patients' pants, clothing for patients in the adaptation chamber, comfortable pants with good thermal regulation. Yeah. Log. Yeah, I guess we're starting as a new character now, Awakening. Seems that the doctor did not expect me to get back on my feet so soon. I decided to get on with the Strock scan and go see Dr. Roke in the diagnostic room. It is there that the decision will be made as to whether to throw me out of here or put me back in bed. I'm conscious, judging by the indicator on the monitor, I've been conscious for nine whole minutes. Seems I'm starting to recover from the big sleep. I don't remember much, but I can't help feeling that somebody somewhere has lived out an entire lifetime for me. Last time this procedure did not leave me so disoriented. I need to understand what is going on and where the heck my breakfast is. <laughs> Alright, let's move out. Well now... I couldn't see what he said. Make a right, but I'm going to make a left. Paramedic doctor. Oh, we're seeing shadow peeps again. Peeps down in the bed. as instructed. Paramedic. Just looking for lootables and stuff. For people to talk to. Any sort of anything. Oh. You're not looking too great, patient. Somnic. You try to catch the patient's eye. In a few seconds, he looks at you dimly, awkwardly bending his wrists. Um, how's it going? A showing of the documentary film Black Sky: The Battle for Zelati today in the adaptation block lecture hall. The showing begins at eight o'clock p.m. 
A cynical smile breaks out across the man's face, though it doesn't seem to be meant for you. Are you okay? The man rubs his eye with his wrist as if trying to wipe the oily film off his cornea. Okay. Paramedic. I'm listening. The stout paramedic scowls, watching a man look at a fluorescent lamp in awe. Is this guy all right? Not really, as you can see. The blast caused a swing, which rebooted his Delta module system, hence his spontaneous awakening. He wasn't hurt too badly. Dr. Roke believes he'll recover in a week. This kind of case is very common these days. May I ask you a couple questions? Yes, but make it quick. I've just recovered. What happened here? It's a madhouse here. The terror attack in Lim, thousands killed. It sure is something. The buttheads from the border areas are trying to intimidate us. Oh, they'll change their tune as soon as our heavy units do their thing. Who are they and what do they want? Some kind of gathering of those who believe themselves to be getter rights activists. What do they want to free themselves from, I wonder? Food supplies? They'd starve to death if it weren't for us. Let's talk about something else. I have to go. Okay. Oh, snap. Locker? Ah, a military ration. 10% HP, 40% hunger. Food bricks made out of Oma that are enriched with all the necessary vitamins and micro elements. They come in three different flavors that every veteran of the Ordinate is already sick of. And two flasks of water. Take all and keep it moving. Should probably save. There's red in. I don't want to go in yet, so let's save. Unitor, get struck scan before you leave the adaptation block. Huh, so this is the legit start of the game, I think. Let's come down this way. Chirik. The young man looks at you for an uncomfortably long time. However, his confident handshake and his friendly tone change the, change the awkward first impression at once. How's it going, pal? Judging by your face, you're coming back from diagnostics, aren't you? No, I'm just on my way there. Ah, wonderful. It's turning out to be a lovely day, isn't it? Dr. Rock, please report to the office. Dr. Rock. Dr. Rock, please report to the office of the block director. Thank you. H have you been here long? Let me think. About a month, give or take. I was enjoying my sleep until the blast woke me. I hope they'll let me out of this sanitized confinement. This is my third time going through diagnostics, after all. Huh. The whole month? Why do you think that is? Something's wrong with my indicators. Again, though no one's bothered to tell me what exactly is the issue. They think patients are idiots who cannot tell between schizophrenia and diarrhea. Huh. What'd you do for a living before the big sleep? I was trained at a border outpost near the Sulphur Geyser. It's quite a dismal place, but I managed to learn a thing or two there. Where do you think you'd be assigned to? I have no idea. If everything were still the same as it was, they would send me back to my old post and even ask me what my thoughts were on the matter. It's quite dangerous there, after all, but now the committee decides everything. Well, to be fair, it's not too bad here. Quite boring, but there's no one bossing you around all day long, and rations are pretty good. I'm sure I'll miss all this when I'm lying in oily slush with a rifle in my hands, unless they assign me to polish monuments on herbs higher levels, of course. Guess it's time for me to go. Okay, see you. Friendly chap. Chirik. Container. Uh, four medicines. Medical supplies, they're useful to any resident of the station for treating wounds and other injuries. Such kits are considered mandatory equipment for all citizens of the autonomy upon leaving herb. Doctor? The doctor nods at you with polite indifference. Well, I'm listening. May I ask you a couple questions? Not that I have a lot of time, but alright then. Would you tell me what's going on here? 
The adaptation block is currently functioning in emergency mode. Even if you've just emerged from your Delta sleep, you must have heard about the awful tragedy in Lim. I haven't seen this many bodies since the Grey Gene epidemic. The injection office will be temporarily pausing its operations for one hour and 15 minutes. Huh. We'll cause the blast. The investigation has no concrete information at this point. Who could have done this? Someone who was quite prepared. The official version keeps trying to pin the blame on the rebel groups from the borders of the near range. What does this door lead to? This is the quarantine block. We keep the patients diagnosed with ANHP there, whose chances of recovery are either slim or non-existent. Let's talk about something else. As you say, I gotta go. Oh, Commissar. Yes, it's behind this door. Quarantine block, clearance level 6. I doubt you're even level 2, so please step away from the door. Okay, very cool. Let's head to the room we're supposed to go in right here, I think. The doctor... Oh, maybe we get to create our character properly here. Come right in, uh, KZ0012. Is, is it? How are you feeling? Fine and dandy, thank you. Fantastic! So, you're now standing on that very Strock scanner that seems to be the subject of quite a few dark and scary rumors. Of course, you and I both know that rumors thrive on ignorance, don't we? The Strux Scanner will put together a detailed assessment of your physical and mental condition. Are you ready to begin? I don't seem to have a choice. Come now, don't make this out don't don't make us out to be dictators. It's not like we're dentists here. Rock chuckles slightly. And dialogue. Alright. Awakening updated. Citizen number Elliot. A helot. A helot. A helot is skilled in stealth and survival, possesses great wayfinding skills, and is decent at using firearms and in close combat. In the military forces of Herb, helots are considered to be immigrants from the junkyard that are familiar with the border areas and understand the customs of getters, criminals, and mercenaries. We'll get to this other spot in a bit. Oh. You don't like to talk about your past in the junkyard. The faces of your parents have been erased from your memory, replaced with the lifelong memory of constant fear and the kind of hunger that makes one dumb. You were not even 10 years old when fate brought you to Reservation D-106 where Child Supervision Services agents picked you up. Knowing that you would not get another chance, you put all of your strength and learning into martial arts. Huh. Wow. Now you are a valued agent for the intelligence units of the Tyrang Division. Citizens of Herb are unlikely to ever let you into their circle, but you do have their respect. So this is physical aspects we can change. Let's look at the classes. Thing Master. A Thing Master is an expert mechanic capable of working with explosive substances and using weapons. Many getters become thing masters for them. Working at a factory is the only chance they have of receiving an herb citizenship. A thing master from the near range will feel at home in the company of engineers, laborers, and simple inhabitants from the reservations. You were born to a family of getters and have a relatively happy childhood on Reservation D-106. Your father was a foreman at the water purification plant. So although your family lived modestly, your needs were met. You spent your days and nights in your father's workshop studying schematics and dreaming of one day becoming an inventor. Thanks to his hard work, your father was able to achieve full citizenship and herb for himself and his family and did everything so that you could go into the service of the ordinate. After spending several years in the repair service of the Ordinate as an apprentice, you received coveted certificate and were deployed. Then we have Ordinator. Are those Darkala soldiers who guard the herb's perimeter? They are in excellent physical shape, specialize in close combat, and per prefer heavy armor. They prefer to associate with representatives of the military caste <laughs> and committee officials. 
You were born in one of the sterile capsules of the incubator and identified as an acceptable specimen of an herb citizen. Long before your professional testing, you knew that the martial arts were your calling. You spent your early years at the training grounds of the gray level, honing your mastery of blade weapons. Having extensively studied the charter of the ordinate, you are confident that your hand will not waver when the people of Noma need your protection. Tector. Tector specialize in electrical systems and have extensive knowledge of medicine. Military Tectors who serve in the near range know how to use weapons and frequently participate in military operations. Tectors will find many things in common with civilian specialists from Herb and with committee officials. Even in your earliest childhood years... You stood out among your urbanite peers for your curiosity and desire to understand everything. You were interested in how everything worked, whether it was the computer parts or the workings of the human immune system. Your natural inclinations determined your future path. Based on your test results, you were assigned to the Medical Center Education Program, where you became a medical equipment engineer. Upon completing the program, you were recommended for service in the Ordinate as a military engineer for electronic systems. A Jager. Jagers have mastered the use of firearms and tend to use light equipment. Soldiers with this specialization officially usually serve on the front lines and are well versed in the internal culture of Tehran division soldiers and officers. We didn't check, you know, what they get, but I'm just going by lore here. When you were a child, you expected to have the same fate as any herb inhabitant. Prep corps, professional testing, and being assigned a place of service. However, thanks to your perseverance, you were recommended for early practice in the near range when you were still young. Participating in real combat situations has turned you into a seasoned fighter. <coughs> Before you'd even turn 20, you've mastered most kinds of firearms, and by your second big sleep, you were considered to be the most promising member of your unit. And back to a helot. Great wayfinding, stealth, and survival. So they get HP plus 5, stealth plus 2, damage close combat, and damage gunshots plus 5%, and lock picking plus 1. Um. for the intelligence units of the Tyrang di Division. Uh, thing Master, Expert Mechanic, working with explosive substances and using weapons. Company of Engineers, Laborers, and Simple Inhabitants from the Reservations. Max Weight plus five, HP plus five, Explosive plus one, Trade plus 0 0.1, Maintenance plus one. Ordinator, defense close combat and gunshots plus 5%, stamina plus 20, damage close combat plus 10%. Excellent physical shape, specialize in close combat and prefer heavy armor. Tector, specialize in electrical systems, extensive knowledge of medicine. These are interesting. Learning plus 10%, HP plus 5, trade plus 0 0.1, healing plus 0 0.15, and computers plus 1. Oh, it's tempting between, let's see. The Jaeger, light equipment, and master of firearms. Bullet spread, minus 5%. Reload speed, plus 10%. Damage gunshots and defense gunshots, plus 5%. HP, plus 5. It's between, for me, Jaeger and Tector. Oh no, also Helot because they have lock picking. And they're a mix of close and gunshots. There will be a showing of the documentary film Black Sky the Battle for Zelati today in the adaptation block lecture hall. The um, showing begins at 8 o'clock p.m. Expert mechanic. Excellent physical shape. Specialize in electrical systems and no medicine. Let's 
civilian specialists from Herb and with committee officials. Jager. Hell, it's stealth and survival, which is very cool. Lock picking stealth. Attention, patients of the adaptation block. I'm gonna go Tector. And name will go um Matthew. So just to refresh, Tector specialize in electrical systems and have extensive knowledge of medicine. Military Tectors who serve in the near range know how to use weapons and frequently participate in military operations. Tectors will find many things in common with civilian specialists from HERB and committee officials. HP plus 5, learning plus 10%, trade plus 0 0.1, healing plus 0 0.15, and computers plus 1. Even in your earliest childhood years, you stood out among your urbanite peers for your curiosity and desire to understand everything. You were interested in how everything worked, whether it was computer parts or the workings of the human immune system. Your natural inclinations determined your future path based on your test results. You were assigned to the medical center education program where you became a medical equipment engineer. Upon completing the program, you were recommended for service in the ordinate as a military engineer for electronic systems. So skin color. Let's start getting into this. Something like that right there. Face. Whoa. a different hairstyle actually two is okay all right we'll go with two um beard hair color Tattoo. Different face tats. That is a Mike Tyson. I'll just leave those off then for now. Um, face for. Oh, each one has different options based on face. Patient Dollar, please go to office number 46 to see the head of the security service. I kind of like that one. Please go to office number 46 to see the head of the security service. Looks pretty good. Hair color tattoo. Are these any different? No, these look the same. All right, we'll go with this guy right here. Name Matthew. Let's go, son. Bong bong. You feel very dizzy, you wobble, feeling as if your chest cavity is being filled with hot cement. Oh. Thank you, KZ0012. The session is over. What do you think? It was unusual, but I'm alright. I admit, I was expecting a far more depressing scene. After all, your condition has been extremely grave for 14 days straight. You should thank your body for its tenacity. Seems you're ready to continue service. I'll send the results to General Headquarters and they'll give you your assignment. The doctor freezes in front of the terminal screen for a few seconds. Done. You've been assigned to the near range. Dr. Rock, please report to the office of the block director. At the Asagras military base. If you still have questions, Redden will provide further instructions. You're free to go, KZ-0012. Have a good one, Doc. Wait, can I talk more to you? 
Patient, your session is over. Have a nice day. Redden. How did the diagnostics go, KZ-0012? According to the base, you've been assigned to the Asagras military garrison in Sector D. The magnetic road station is at the entry hall at the end of the hallway. Do you have any questions? I spent 14 days unconscious and you're discharging me just like that? Well, let's put it this way. Now is not the time to allow soldiers to stay in their beds having a light read. The Strzok scan showed good results, thus there is no reason to keep you here. I've sent a recommendation to have all medications necessary for your quick recovery added to your food rations. Nice, why am I being sent to the near range? Sector D is a troubled area at the moment, a state of emergency has unleashed unrest. HQ is expanding the near range garrisons. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to join the hunt for the limb fireworks perpetrators. An honorable mission, is it not? May I ask a few questions about the scanning procedure? Sure thing. What are you interested in? Remind me, what's the point of the Strzok scan? It's the same procedure that you have gone through five years ago after your first Delta sleep. Only the Strzok scan can provide a complete picture of someone's physical and mental health. By the way, I should probably warn you, if you still have some unusual symptoms, keep your mouth shut about them unless you wish to stay here for another 20 days. What if I were to have hallucinations? Hallucinations can be indicative of a variety of hidden mental disorders. I understand your fears. Yes, in certain cases we do diagnose IHAP or somnia as they call it in common parlance. Pay no attention to the scary sensationalist articles and papers. As a rule, it does not get any worse than mild schizophrenic schizophreniform psychosis. Tell me about Dr. Rock. Dr. Rock is head of the Delta Procedures Block, the one where folks are put to sleep and awakened. I personally consider him to be a great specialist. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What are you interested in? Thank you, Doctor. I guess it's time for me to go. You're right. I need to get back to work, too. Good luck, Unitor. We remember the dead sky. We remember. Alright, guys. Let's see how long we've been playing, because it's been a minute. 37 minutes actually so we're gonna save and I guess we can continue for a few more minutes come in oh more hallucinations urbanite We have new achievements, no skill points to spend, new achievement, Tector, Tector Specialize, oh, we already saw that, very good, new achievement is still a thing, could be a bug. So this game is supposedly, or does supposedly have quite a few bugs. There's lock. Well, how you feeling? The man cast a snide look at you. Um, I'm afraid you've mistaken me for someone else. We haven't met. My name's Locke, number 10I01020. Nice to meet you, I'm Locke. You can see my number on the patch, what? You seem perplexed. Have you just recovered after your awakening? Yeah, I think I slept through all the fun. A week ago, we thought the apocalypse had come. The hallways were crammed with extra beds. The medics reeking of distillate at the end of the day. We were this close to a nervous breakdown. I have no doubts given the dubious initiatives of the Ministry of Health. Hmm, I agree. It's unclear how they're going to handle the upgrade, seeing as how they weren't any, there weren't any real resources designated for it. I'm happy to actually meet an educated person here, you know? I'm a senior laboratory technician in the pharmaceutical industry. Really? That's pretty impressive. Attention, Frankly speaking, I'm so bored. Radio communications I wish there were something to do. I work whenever I get a free minute. I even write on napkins if that's what it takes. If you want, you can have a look at my latest invention. Hopefully someone at the patient bureau will be interested. Smart Sorbent Recipe, huh? 
Nice. Let's talk. You again? Have you been here long? Almost a month. I was extracted from the Delta module a few weeks back. I was quite lucky and came to only a few hours before the incident. How did it happen? The howl of the siren woke me. The guy lying next to me, he was in a coma after the spontaneous awakening, started shaking and shouting something. I left the ward and nearly knocked down, or was nearly knocked down by a bunch of soldiers carrying their rifles at the ready. I followed them, trying to catch a glimpse of something from behind. I smelled smoke. The entrance to Lim had been cordoned off. An officer wearing a helmet announced over a loudspeaker that patients were to return to their wards and staff were to remain at their workplaces. I hadn't fallen asleep again. The sounds of the footsteps behind the door and the staff cursing never settled for a minute. They were bringing in the victims. How did the authorities respond? The causes of the incident are being investigated is what we heard from loudspeakers for two days straight. Then they announced the possible involvement of a terrorist group from the near range. They tortured the staff and many of the patients for about two weeks, interrogating them and collecting evidence. I happened to have a conversation with investigators as well. What did you talk about with the investigator? He listed names and showed pictures. All the questions were regular crap. Where were you at 2.30 and is there anyone who can prove it? Offered rewards for cooperating with the investigation. Used all available detective techniques at random. It seemed to me they had no clue what their superiors wanted from them. It's quite thrilling, but I need to go. No harm done. If you have a moment, come by and we'll have ourselves a nice chat. Nice meeting you, Locke, but I'm going to save here, guys. Super interesting stuff. We're just now getting um, started in the game, basically. I don't see any new achievement other than these, so like... I don't know, but anyway, we have new stuff to check out, a tablet, very cool. So, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please press the like button or leave a comment, I'd really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I invite you to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. And that said guys, I hope to see you all next time, don't go anywhere. We are just warming up now that the official game has started. Very interesting stuff, and I hope to see you guys then and play this quite a bit more. So, until next time, guys. Attention, patients of the adaptation block. Due to an ongoing investigation, access to the recreation zone. Um, until next time, guys, be well, live well, stay well, and much love, peace, and joy. I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao for now.